Hey there friends, it's Sydney from Sid Plans It Out. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be making something that I'm really excited about, mostly because I just want to use these stickers. Um, I'm going to be using Christmas stickers by Kel of a Plan to create a Christmas gift tracker because I'm kind of behind. Black Friday's coming up and I always wait until the last minute. And I just need to like get it all out. Like who am I going to buy presents for? Who do I need to buy presents for? All that good stuff. So there is a page in here. For some reason, this book is like all sticking to itself. It's kind of driving me crazy, but that's okay. Okay. So I want to use this shopping list sticker. I also want to use, okay. I don't know why I ever think I can get her stickers off the page. She just, she cut like purposely buys this or like uses this really thin clear pa like paper um clear sticker st paper so that they like look like they're like molded into your page which is fantastic but then I like can never get them out of the book I'm just gonna stick that on there for right now <clears throat> there's also a sticker I think it was up here Oh my gosh. I'm also really excited about these, this like advent calendar stickers. I have a plan for those. It's going to be great. Um, I want to use this because it's cute and yeah. Do I need both of them that say shopping? Probably not, but I'm going to use them both anyway, because I'm probably not going to use shopping list for anything else because I don't really buy anything for Christmas because we like do it at my parents' house and my parents always buy everything. And yeah, cause none of us are married. Not yet. At least my sister is getting married in April, but yeah. So it's just like my family. So, okay. I kind of want to use these presents and a Christmas tree, obviously, but I kind of want to use like this stuff I think actually because I like this like bright colorful boxes that are back here so let's do this okay I'm so excited I don't even know like where to start and what to do because I just want all of it <laughs> I guess this doesn't really match does it okay I won't use this then I'll save it and I'll use it another time I'm sure there will be something else I can use it for, but I really just need like the shopping list one because that's really what I'm going for. Okay. Back to this. All right. Now the question is, do I put it this in a box or do I just put it at the top? I think I might just put it at the top and then use some of these adorable decorations. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. You guys, I'm obsessed. And then I think there's like more back here. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. I'm obsessed. All right. So let's just, this book is not going to stay if I'm in the back of it. Like it's just not going to stay standing up. So let's just put this in the middle at the top. And then we will go from there. So I'm going to put this like all the way up. So I'll have to cut a little bit of that extra of the clear off, but that is okay by me. All right. So we have shopping list. Okay. So I need a box for my parents. My sisters and I already bought them something like together, but I usually buy them like something separate also, even if it's just something little. And then I need a box for all three of my siblings. I need a box for my grandparents. I don't know if I need to buy something for my sister's fiance. I maybe if I can find something for him, I don't know. I don't know you guys. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe we'll throw one of these down. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I just 
want to use all the Christmas stickers. I'm so excited for Christmas. I love Christmas. It's literally my favorite holiday of the entire year. Oops, I did not want that to go off the page. Might be too late though. Oh, that actually came up really nicely. Okay. All right. There's that. And then let's put this one, unless there's a bigger one. I was going to say, let's put that one at the bottom. But there might, yeah. There's a bigger thing of presents. Does anyone else just like cringe when your parents ask you what you want for Christmas because you just have no idea? Because me. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Money. Pay my rent. Pay my bills. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I want because I don't really like, I don't know. There like comes to the point where you just like you buy yourself things and if you can't afford it, then you just don't buy it. And then when it comes time to like someone asking you what you want, you can't remember any of the things that you like haven't bought for yourself because they were too expensive. And you're just like, yeah, I don't know. Sorry. Not a clue. Because <laughs> same. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to put this Christmas tree down at the bottom. If I can figure out where the outside of it is. I wish it was bigger, but that's okay. All right, rude. Oh, it's blue. I didn't really realize it was blue. All right. So we have a little base. Now let's pick out some boxes. I feel like I should use like double boxes, but also like, let's be honest, I'm not going to be buying them a ton of stuff. So I really just feel like I should use the double boxes because they're going to take up more space, but maybe I'll use like this one for, also I have to make sure I have enough room. If I add double boxes, will I have enough room? How many boxes do I need? <laughs> my parents, I'll put them in one box, my grandparents in one box, and then my siblings. Okay, so I need five. Okay, I think I can make, so we'll do this for my parents. And then I'll use this one down here for my grandparents, which let me tell you also, buying things for grandparents is hard. I think the last couple years I've just like made something, um, which I might do again because it's easier than trying to buy things for people. Also, like, I feel like grandparents like it when you make them things. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but that's kind of how I feel. I think I'm gonna overlap this box over this bottom one. That's not straight, but we're gonna leave it because it's not like awful, it's just, it's not perfect, but that's okay. And then we'll put one here. Oh wow, that one's really bad though. So we're gonna straighten that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, it's still kind of crooked, but it's fine. Okay, mommy and daddy, not on papa. I need bubba. One for my brother. Um, I guess this one. I didn't really mean to pull the colors out of this, but that's kind of what happened. So it's what we're gonna go with. I think I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to overlap this yellow box. Uh, again, not straight. I cannot put stickers down straight lately. It's very annoying. Okay. Oh, and by the way, this is just um, paper that I pulled out of a Happy Notes, just in case you were curious. Let's see if we can find a like a quote to go in there. 
Um, oh, here we go. Hmm. I don't think any of these are going to fit. Hmm. I also, something needs to go there, but I think it's going to be decorative. So maybe I just throw one in and I don't care if it overlaps things. I think I'm going to use this. Because I feel like the top is like really bright colors. I mean, that pink's not super bright, but I have like this purple and then, but like these don't match the rest of the stuff, I guess. It's kind of how I'm feeling. Ooh, that's fun. Okay. I like that. All right, let's grab some more of these little decorative things and throw them in here. Like... Um, I kind of want to put this Santa hat on the corner of one of these boxes because I think that will be really cute. So I'm going to put it there. I don't like how close together those are, but it's all right. We're just going to leave it. I'm going to pretend that I didn't notice, even though I definitely did. Um, maybe... I like put some of these because I have Christmas lights here. So maybe we just put a couple of these up here. They're kind of big, but that's all right. And then let's do the purple one. Oh my goodness. I also think the reason I struggle with these is because the border is always out farther than I think it's going to be. Okay. Have to cut off a little bit of those bows, but that's all right. Okay. Cute. Um, I definitely want like something here. So maybe, maybe this, this is cute. This like jar of hearts. I think that's cute because I'm buying these presents for people that I love. So I think that's cute there. All right, let's write in names. I think that might help me. I'm gonna try to brush letter them, which we'll see how that goes. My brush lettering has definitely gotten better, but this is really small space, so we'll see. Also, I need a new brush pen because I kind of ruined this one, I think. Like, it's not awful, but it's definitely not as nice as it once was. Maybe I'll do that and then I'll put Daddy down here and then, um... The present that we all bought that like that we bought together I'll just write like on the side so I'll just write it like right here and then this will be like what I buy for them individually and then I'm just gonna go in age order here oh and I still have to decide if I have to buy something for my sister's fiance I don't really know what to buy for him I'm going to ask to ask my mom on that one, if that's something that I have to do. Oh, my sister, my other sister's name starts with a G. Oh, I guess I did those lowercase. I was like, uh, I don't really want to do an uppercase G. They're hard and I don't like them. <laughs> I guess the only reason that Chloe kind of is uppercase is because lowercase and uppercase C's are very similar. That does not look very good, but it's all right. 
Again, I think I need a new brush pen because I kind of killed this one. All right, and then my little brother. which I have literally no idea what to buy for anyone this year. My brother is 15. And what do you buy for a teenage boy? Video games? I don't, I really don't know. And then parents are always hard to shop for, I feel like. And my sisters, I don't even know what they like anymore, if I'm being honest. So I have no idea, no idea what they're going to get. <laughs> but it's fine. I will figure it out eventually, hopefully before Christmas. <laughs> it's kind of how I feel sometimes. I'm like, uh, that's also why I end up waiting so long because I don't know what to buy for anyone. So I end up waiting forever because no one will tell me and I'm indecisive and they're indecisive and I just don't know. So there's that. Okay. I like that better with names written in it. I'm going to be honest. Okay. What else? I definitely feel like I need like more little decorative things just because they're here and they're adorable. So let's do that. Um, but I guess there's not really any more room. I mean, it's pretty full and it's really cute. So maybe I'm done. I think I'm done, you guys. It's super cute and it's gonna keep me like on track. Like I have it written out here where I can see it and I will be able to like keep track of it, I guess really is just what it is. Like I need to make sure that I have something for everyone. I also don't wanna spend like a ton of money. So I'll probably end up writing in like what I'm spending on everyone just so that I can keep track of like what I actually did spend. Um, maybe on the back, eh, I don't know. But I think this is super cute. It's really like, it's pretty simple, honestly, but it doesn't need to be complicated. I just need somewhere to write it down. So yeah, I really like this. Um, this Christmas stickers book by Calva Plan is so stinking cute. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little extra page plan with me to get me ready to actually buy things for people. <laughs> um, if you guys did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.